Shalom beloved. Our verse for today is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 27. It reads, Do not withhold good from the one who deserves it, when it is in your power to do it. Very beautiful and very touching words from the book of Proverbs. It makes here a case for alms given. And we know that alms given, given alms, being charitable, being kind, is one of the strong points, one of the emphasis of the book of Proverbs. For the sage in the book of Proverbs, one cannot live a good life. One cannot live a true religious life without impacting on the life of his or her neighbor. And here he tells us, do not withhold charity to one who deserves it. We may be tempted to ask, who is the one who deserves charity? The one around me who is actually in need and I am able to do it, he deserves my charity. She deserves my charity. The Christian life is a life that goes out from one's comfort zone to bring comfort to the other because exactly that is the foundation, the fundament of Christian religion. Christ left the comfort of heavenly glory, came to our form, took flesh, and took the form of a slave, so as to bring us out of darkness into wonderful light, so as to give us the privilege of being called and being really once more children of God Heirs to the eternal inheritance of salvation. If we are then Christians who are called to be Christ like, what the book of Proverbs has said in times past applies to us in a more, more serious way. Around us are many who deserve charity who deserve arms given. Many times, we find reasons not to do charity. For instance, we see, how am I going to continue charity when I was scammed the last time I did charity? When I go out to do charity, I am the actor in this scenario, I am the person doing charity. My task, my aim, my resolve is to make the life of the other better. Now, if that other has come with motives that are not right, it is not my problem, it is his problem. Yes, it pains when we realize we have been swindled. But remember the book of Proverbs that does not take away reason from worship says when it is in your power to do it. When someone has come to ask me for something I can do and in the name of God I do it. And I realize finally that he was not telling me the truth. I have given to Christ, not to him. He teaches me not to become uncharitable, but to open my eyes better so that the recipients of my charity will be the people who actually deserve it. May God open our eyes and actually also the eyes of our minds that we may identify those who are really in need and do what we can to better that situation. As we do that, may God better our own situation now and forevermore. Amen. Remain blessed in the Lord.